how to some scripter blocks and this is how to make your character customize your okay so funny funnily enough in the first video we're actually gonna make the saving okay so the first thing we want to do is we want to in server strip service add in a folder i'm only doing this because this is gonna add like like five scripts six actually and in case you are making a big game i don't want you to mess up your folders because of this tutorial so this folder you're gonna call character customization menu and in here we're gonna add another folder that we'll name data store now in here we want to add a script now the first type of data store we want to do is to save the player's body color so we're gonna name the script body color saving and get right into it so the easiest way is first to save the part so the problem that we would have here is because if the player is leaving the character doesn't exist so we can save it so instead we have to do wait 50 so we're gonna do while wait 15 do so this far as every 15 seconds and now we're gonna loop through the player so for I comma PLR in pairs game dot nope game dot players colon get children do and now we want to make a table for their color so local PLR colors equals to just a blank table now comes some complicated parts so we want to do table dot insert plr So we need to do PLR dot character. Now in square brackets, body colors because it body colors is spelled with a space, which is really annoying. But now we want to do behind this part dot head color three, and then just colon split. And then in quotation marks, comma, space. Now we just want to duplicate this. So copy and paste this line for a total of six times. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And now we only want to change to two, three, four, five, and six. These numbers here. And we want to make it so that instead of the head color tree, it'll be the left arm. And we'll do that as well for the right arm and for both two legs and the torso. But keep in mind that we'll save the torso color last. And now this is the simplest part. We want to make an ID. Under that, the colors will be saved. So local ID equals to color dash dot dot PLR dot use or ID and now we only want to save it so we need the data store service so local DS equals to game get service data store service get data store color data store and just lastly, we we'll want to do DS set async ID comma PLR colors. So in case you don't know what all this means, in this line we're just getting the data store service and call making a new data store called color data store. Then with this line loop, ev repeat the following code every 15 seconds. So then every 15 seconds we we'll loop to all the players and for every individual player we then create this table for 
them, we insert all their body colors into the table and form prompt strings, and then we save the table with a unique key that every player is unique to. Okay, so now you may wonder, but the player won't have this data back when he logs back in. So we want to make a player added event. Game of players dot player added colon to next function plr. So that we want to know if the character adds because we want to do it for the character. plr dot character added colon to next function char. And then we want to wait a second so that the character is correctly loaded in. So wait one. And then we want to get our ID back so we're just gonna copy it and paste it. And then we need a variable for this table. So we can just do local colors once again, but in instead of it equaling to a blank table, we want it to be nil for now. dot head color three equals to color tree dot new and now we have to unpack the string so we just do unpack plr colors and then the first position in the table and we just need to repeat that for every single body part as we have done down here and just remembering that we have to do it the same so that now if we would do the left arm we would have to have it on position two and I'll be right back okay and now if we close down the script and play but before this can work we actually have to go into game settings and save our games and now it should work if we just go into game settings security Enable Studio Access to API services. Save and play. Now there's still one problem. We, when we go onto the server, we need to actually give. We basically just have to wait about 15 seconds. So one. now if we stop the game and play again, as we can see, nothing has changed. But now if we go onto the server, we could expand our character and just mix up the body colors and now if we wait 15 seconds again and I'll stop the game and play again as we can see our character still has the same body colors and one thing we just need to do is we just need to go over here up to avatar rig builder and just select the block avatar call this character starter character and place it in starter player this is just so that when we later on do a lot of more details and stuff that nothing breaks okay so that was part one of making a character customization menu in roblox studio i'm stripped and i hopefully see you in the next video bye